our bread. The two little silver things go in here. This only goes in one way, but you have to snap it in and the light will come on. And the handset, you see the grooves line up and it snaps into place only one way. And if this were plugged in, the light would come on. And so this, I lost the part to this that plugs into the wall. So the only way you can charge it is with your cigarette lighter. And you charge one battery charge the other collar and charge this at the same time. You can charge one collar and the transmitter at the same time. Now, the on off button on the collars is right here in the back and it, it you have to push it kind of hard and the light will start blinking. When it's blinking, it's on. The faster it blinks, the lower the battery is. But these are dead because I haven't used them for over a year. So you get everything charged. The transmitter, now this is the settings. And one through 24. And the buttons, this is the, a light touch. It's a stronger touch. Both at the same time is more. The red one is the hot shot. That and this green button is the beeper, the toner that warns the dog that you're getting ready to shock them. And uh, like I said, you can go on gundog.com and get the wall charger for this. Or you can go to Bass Pro Shop and go, this is a Tritronics. Uh, I don't know if it's on here or not, but the brand is Tritronics. Uh, T-R-I hyphen Tronics. And you can go on to Tritronics.com and get parts for this. And uh, I'm sending you the whistle. It's a peeless whistle. Now make sure that the dog knows the command that you're doing. Like come here or here, come, whatever you use. When he gets out to the tree line, you, you zap him hard when he doesn't come back to you. And when you shock him hard, he's gonna come running back to you. And you pet him and everything, and that'll be the end of that. And let him go, fetch your frisbee or a ball or whatever. Use this to make him come back and after you've shocked him a couple of times you can use the green button to warn him and then shock him. And here's another thing. These little tits, you can buy longer ones for a long haired dog. So, but you don't need that. But cinch it down tight. In other words, almost to the point where you think it might be almost choking him. So these are touching his skin and you put the light facing his nose. 
these little things facing his chest. And when you get ready, when you charge these up and you get ready to use it, call me if you want to and get one of the kids to hold the, the camera uh, video and and I'll talk you through some of the process. But, but the main thing is when he runs out there and you call him back to you and he doesn't come, that's when you give him a good hard jolt. That only takes a couple times of doing that and then you can give him the toner, the green button, okay? And set it on, set it on uh, six. And you start here with the bottom button and then both buttons. And if he still doesn't mind, then hit the red button. And if he doesn't jump and yelp and stuff like that, then you haven't got it charged or you haven't got it tight enough. You got it? Good. Good luck.